all the wonderful kids here, the staff, faculty, management, and others who have all uh, come here. Very good morning to all of you. It's a wonderful time to see some wonderful things out here with all the kids. Nice Olympic balloons flowing along with the Olympics time. Olympic torch just uh, got uh, used a few days back and you guys have used uh, a torch just now, doing a wonderful thing, wonderful welcome singing. And I can see kids waiting to perform some wonderful dances. It's a great, uh, joyous moment to be all here. So I don't want to interfere between your fun and fair as your fairy fiesta is called. So I would not like to take too much time, but I'll just take two, three minutes to give you a few quick thoughts of uh, 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 how to move forward and then uh, uh, look at the kids uh, doing the performances. First of all, all of you kids would have been hearing many times, both from your parents, from your elders, from your teachers, from your principal, everybody must be telling you, you guys don't know. You guys don't know what to do. You guys are not doing it correct. You kids are not in the right direction. This is all the messages that you keep getting from a lot of elders. But trust me, this is all wrong and completely incorrect. The world has proved, time and again it has proved, that every next generation is better than the previous generation. And every next generation has been thousandfold better than the previous generation. Just to give you simple examples, the time between some of the oldest inventions, like the time gap between fire and wheel, the time gap between wheel and a diode, and the time gap between a diode and a computer, and the time gap between diode, computer and the internet have all been decades. Today, life is moving by the days. Every day there's a new invention happening, and that's because the younger new generation is able to invent and get to the world much faster than the rest of the older generation. So you are the future, and you can all be rest assured, you will all perform better than all of us here. And this is a fact. And you have to believe in this. But the problem is not competing with the elder generation. The problem is working within yourself. You have to all learn to believe that you are in a very competitive space and you are within your own peer group space. And not that one thing is more important than the other. You will all be surprised to realize that there are countries where bricklayers make more than software engineers. Australia is an example where bricklayers make more than a software engineer. There are countries where finance professionals make better. There are countries where government professionals make better. There are countries where entrepreneurs make better. So it's not that one thing is better than the other. What you do well and how well you do is what matters. And therefore, all of you have to figure out what is in it in you. And, and all of you have to think of, am I an entrepreneur? Am I a professional? Am I a contributor? Am I a sole worker, this is something that you have to discover and it doesn't need to get discovered today. It doesn't need to get discovered over the next 10 years. It can get discovered when you are 40. It can get discovered when you are 20. So you have to all have that patience and time to believe what you are and get to where you want to be. And that's what will make you a very, very wonderful and bright future. And please don't believe that your academics or your entrepreneurship or your money will make anything in career. It is your enterprise in you that is what makes you an entrepreneur. It is the idea in you, it is the thinking in you, it is the vision in you that makes you the future of this world. So kids, I want you all to believe in yourself. Everyone has a bright future. Your generation will surely perform way better than all the other generations. So please go out into this world and perform well, work hard and be competitive in this world. And I'm very confident all of you will end up, end up being wonderful kids in the future. So good luck to all of you. I will not end my job without communicating a good message of environment because I come from a sustainability company and therefore I will communicate this message. You would have all heard environment and sustainability is about planting a tree, not wasting water, conserving water, conserving energy, not wasting paper, not using a plastic bottle. These are the kind of things we hear. But that's one part of it. What really is environment, what really is sustainable is very, very simple. And you just have to think of it in a very simple way. Am I leaving enough resources for the next generation on this earth? And what do I mean by enough resources, enough energy, 
enough food grains, enough land, enough housing, enough uh, uh, mineral resources, everything that is enough for them to live in this world. Am I leaving enough resources, including good quality air? And the way to think of this, every activity you do, can I do it better than this? If you're today driving a, a, a combustion engine car, can I move to an electric car? If I am using an electric car, can I use solar energy to power my electric car? If I am using a solar powered energy car, can I convert my steel into fiber? These are different kind of things you have to think. If I am using paper, can I avoid using paper? Every single thing you do, if you start thinking how I can conserve resources for the next generation, that is when you would have done a good job. Therefore, all of you, I advise you, care for the environment, protect the environment. Be entrepreneurs, you'll all be wonderful kids and you'll all beat all of the old generation, thumbs down. So good luck to all of you and best wishes to all of you. Thank you.